How's it going, you guys? It's Scott with Shed School. Now, whether you're a homeowner just trying to get a lay of the land and understand the slope in your yard so you can make a plan for a future shed, or a shed builder, or even one of our Shed School members, a quick and easy way to understand how many inches are you gonna to have to build up your shed to make sure your floor is level? That is critical, something you need to get early on so you make the right plan of attack. Historically, this would be using two different stakes. I would stake one wooden stake on one end, and then I would extend out to the width of my overall shed. Here it's gonna be 12 feet, setting my second stake, and then running a simple string line between those two using my bubble level to make sure it is nice and level. Then I would go to one end, measure that end. This instance, it's two inches. The other end, measure it. This instance, it's 16 inches. So then I know there is 14 inches of elevation change across this 12 foot run. And I would need to build my shut up 14 inches on this end. But believe it or not, there is actually an easier way. Let me show you a quick way to just use your phone to get very similar results. So the easier way, you'll just want a straight edge. Here I have a piece of one by that's gonna be able to give you the representative slope. You don't wanna just set your phone on the ground because you can have a lot of variability. We need something that's about five foot, six foot, or even eight foot to kind of give us that average slope across what we're looking at, which would be our 12 foot long shed in this case. And then I'll start capturing the screen on my phone so you can see what app I'm going to. But this is valid for Apple or Android. You can go to your measurement just default app and there is a bubble level part of that. You'll turn it completely horizontal and what you wanna see is that goes to the zero degree mark. That way you know it's calibrated. Then you just go ahead and set that right on your straight edge and here I'm getting right at six degrees. Now it's only gonna give you to the one integer, so it'll only be five, six, it won't be decimal places. So this will only get you within about an inch or so of accuracy. But what do you actually do with that degrees now? How do you make sense out of that? Well, I made a quick table that you can actually download. Whether you're watching on your TV, you can scan this QR code or there's a link in the description and it'll give you the complete table showing you your degrees in columns, and then the length that you wanna stretch in the rows. And then you just take your degrees here, six inches, you go down till you get to the 12 foot mark, and then I see that would be 15 and a quarter inches, which remember, we measured 14 inches here on our string level. So we're within about one inch, and we are able to do this literally in a matter of seconds and with no tools. You can even do this with a broomstick or any sort of straight edge. Now there are limitations on how much you wanna build up. Usually we're just using our eight inch by 16 inch, and they're about three and a half inches thick concrete blocks, and we just stack those up to make up the difference. I've color coded that table showing green, yellow, and red. Anything up to 18 inches is green. Then you really start to get into a yellow range where I would not want to go much higher than that. If you are stacking up that many blocks like we did on this red shed, even somebody bumping into that, a lawnmower, a tractor bumping into that, the ground shifting over time, that could result in your shed falling off that point. So you wanna be a little bit careful. And then obviously red, anything over two feet, then we might be turning to something like that behind me, which is a retaining wall where you're really permanently leveling up that area where you wanna set a shed like this 12 by 16 shed right behind me. So that's it, pretty quick and dirty. If you guys are interested in Shed School where we train DIYers, side hustlers, handymen, and many others how to make up to $1,000 a day building simple solid sheds, go ahead and check the link in the description. You can jump over to our school group where you'll get a lot more information and we'd be happy to have you they're engaging in our community, our eight lesson course, our weekly Q and A's, our discount on tools and other supplies. We got a lot of good stuff going over there. And I think shed building is one of the best side hustles or even full-time opportunities I've seen. Now, if you wanna go deeper in using your string line, you can check out this video right here where I really dove into setting some corrugated pipe in the ground and using the level line to make my plan of attack. Or if you wanna dive deeper in a retaining wall and all that that entails, check out this video right here. It is a big, and very physical project, but makes for a fantastic pad as well. So thanks for joining me in this video and we'll catch you on one of those next ones. Take care.